Hey, what's good, you two? Nathan Mass Collector, back from the video. Uh, this one here is an HGA submission I got back a few days ago. Um, five cards. Uh, these all have custom labels, which I put in a suggestion for what I would like to see. And um, I already know what the grades are. I did a video of it. I did a blind reveal of it um, already. And my daughter was with me, so it was kind of jumbled and rushed and everything. But I just want to kind of go through these with you guys. A little bit closer view of everything. And um, so you can hear what I'm saying as well. So uh, first one here is a Bowman's Best honor roll. So Jerry Stackhouse is on the back and Kevin Garnett is on the front and uh, we got a 7.5 on this one um, the surface is what got hit the worst I got a 6.5 and I think there's a like fingerprint on both sides of this thing um, up on top I don't remember it but I know you know these Bowman's best cards there's a lot of little dimples um, manufacturing lines in them scratches really easily so um these are tough to grade there's no doubt about it but um it looks great i like the label you know it's nice and simple I like the black and the yellow that's what i asked for to match the card so i was pretty happy all around with it it's a pc card so um i'm not really too concerned about the grade or anything um i just think it really looks really really good in here so it's a Garnett second year card. Uh, next one is Christian Wood, and this is a this is number one out of ten, Gold Shimmer. Um, this year's, and we got 9.0 on this one. Um, centering got a nine, which uh, man. I thought this thing looked like it was like it's perfectly centered. I, I don't maybe it's pushed up a little bit to the top, but um, I don't know if it's that drastic to drop it to a nine. And then the corners on everything. Um, You know, generally the backs are what get kind of dinged on this thing. It looks like a little, maybe a little white spot on the top of that one. This one here, kind of as well. But that looks pretty damn good. Um, this one as well. So I. You know, the face side, they look pretty crisp. So I'm not sure what exactly happened there. Uh, the surface, I am not sure. There might, I know there might have been some, uh, you know, manufacturing print lines or whatever you want to call them that might go through it. But I didn't see anything like super, super drastic on it. <coughs> surface corners centering yeah, edges look good but I like the label I think it looks great it's just, it's just an amazing looking card really um, I love these gold shimmer cards really cool so that's what I got for that one uh, next one is Lamello Ball uh, this is from the Dollar Tree um, cards so it's a yellow border and I got 9.5 on this one and I asked them for you know try to match these colors in the in the card as best as possible uh, the blue doesn't match very well it's more of a matching the jersey it seems like closer so I guess it's not too bad I kind of wanted this yellow you know uh, up here and that turquoise looking um, color to be up here as well but I think it looks pretty good uh, 9.5 got hit with a 9.0 on the surface 
which I know on there's a little uh, dimple on the back there. So that's probably what got hit there. But I'll take a 9.5, I think it looks great. Really nice looking card. Uh, next one is uh, Krill Kaprizov, Young Guns, Upper Deck. And I got nine fives across the board with this one. Looks great. So for the label, I, I sent them a picture of some Northern Lights and like asked them to like, put like, you know, trees, silhouette of trees in front of it. So they did a really, really good job on um, kind of nailing that 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 label to where I wanted it it's 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 a perfect look to it um, doesn't distract yourself from the card either it's got a nice tone matches it really well so really happy about that one and then the last one I got here is Dennis Robbins hot numbers uh, flare from uh, 1995 and uh, we got a 9.5 on this one. Um, for some reason, the centering got hit with to a nine, and I'm not really sure how um, they did that. You know, I was kind of going by the bottom of versus Dennis Robin on the bottom compared to the top of the F on the flare up here. And, you know, left to right, it looks like it's pretty dead on um, with the Dennis Rodman being in the middle. So, um, same thing with the back. I, I just don't, I'm not sure. But 9.5 either way, even if it did get a 9.5 on centering, it wouldn't have pushed it up any higher. So, pretty happy with it. Um, for the label, I asked them to just to use a bunch of different colors, kind of like what we're seeing in the card and also try to get them to match, you know, the font and color scheme of some of these, these colors that are in here. But um, they just kind of went with this uh, rainbow effect up on top, which, you know, it matches pretty well. I like how they did the jersey colors, you know, kind of like that silver and, and black for the Spurs colors. Um, I really like how they do that. But uh, overall, it was a really good submission. Uh, I love this card. I got a few more of these too. I might send them in and get more of these um, custom labeled from them. I think they look great in these slabs, man. They just, just these uh, hologram cards just really pop right off. This, this, uh, these cards, they look great in a slab. So really happy about that. Um, if you guys got any questions, please let me know. I've been doing pretty good. You know, I've been getting mainly 9.5s and 9s on most of the cards that I'm submitting to uh, to HGA. Uh, so I've been pretty pleased with everything. Um, you know, some cards I've been getting 9 or 7.5s like this one or 8s. Um, but majority of the, the newer modern stuff is, is hitting pretty good. So... But, um, you know, appreciate you guys watching. You guys, did a, you know, please leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. And also, if you have any questions, let me know. Also, please subscribe if you're enjoying the content, things like this. I got lots of submissions coming back from PSA yet, hopefully in the next couple of months. Um, I got, you know, 400 and some cards there that have been there since, you know, getting back to October of last year and going up into March when I submitted until they shut down. But um, I got a couple, 10 more, 10 more cards or so, 14, I think, total cards at HGA yet. So I'll see those in a couple months as well. So got some stuff cooking. Um, and I'm always, you know, looking to send some more stuff out, but I'm going to have to start selling some cards to, uh, to uh, raise some funds to start submitting some more things. So uh, appreciate it. Please subscribe if you haven't. Like the video, give it a thumbs up, and then also hit that bell for notifications and you'll be notified when I drop new videos. And until next time, we'll see you later. Take that. And my daughter Take is that. popping bubble wrap from the HGA case. Next one up is a lamello ball. No, I don't want that, honey. We're doing a video.
Lamello Ball, Dollar Tree, Yellow, 9595959595. Please give it a thumbs up. Think about subscribing to my channel. Give it a thumbs up.